Yeah. You don't know if it's a good idea to buy a sprinter band or better just to buy a step band. So now I'm going to show you the differences. So if you want to turn this into an RV, so the pros and cons, and you're going to see many of those things that I'm going to show you in another videos, but nobody is going to t tell you or compare both uh, things. So if you know those things, now let's start, uh, let's start with the sprinter. And then I'm going to go to the step van, and then I'm going to show you the differences between one. So here, the good thing about this is, this is the, uh, I think is this is the extended uh, Sprinter van. This is the 170 uh, wheelbase uh, Sprinter van. You have the extended that is maybe like two foot uh, longer or something like that. This is the almost the longest one that you can get. Uh, you can be standing here, so that is a good thing. And if you want to park it in almost anywhere, I mean, uh, it will fit in in most spot, spot uh, places. If you're like in a tiny city or very small city, uh, where the tiniest place spaces, well, this might be the, the one for for you. Otherwise, if you want to buy something like that that is like 30 feet uh, long, so it's like 10 meters. Uh, the length so that is going to be maybe a little bit more challenging but if you have you know like a, a walmart a kroger's or anything like that you're going to be able to park this anywhere because you know they have a huge uh, parking let's talk uh, about uh, this so let's i'll show you inside so the way you can see in this case you have the side door it's just in one end in the other end you don't have anything uh, with the, uh, this type of vehicles the step in you only you have the driver door and the, the other door in the back and that's it. So that will be the main thing. You have uh, amenities, uh, for instance, you have electric windows, you have uh, more comfort inside that I know, uh, now I'm going to show you if you compare it with the, uh, just with the regular step van. So here, as you can see, you open this up here. I'm going to use my flashlight so the way you can see a little bit better so as you can see almost i can i mean i can touch my the the ceiling with this uh, with my hand so this is not very tall so maybe six feet or a little bit more than that is not very wide so as you can see it's maybe as wide as a as a regular car and that's it so that is the 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 dimensions i mean it's it's going to be smaller than any anything else so as you can see i can touch uh, i put another light it's, it's go you're going to see better so i can stretch my hand i can touch the the ceiling the the main thing is if you want to put uh, if you live like in a cold weather and you want to keep you know the van uh, warm uh, this is going to be a challenge because you have this is, you're going to see this is a curvature so it's curved the uh, the ceiling also the the walls so as you can see here is nothing is straight so they have a cut here and then it goes straight here so basically if you put the furniture if you put yeah, insulation or anything like that, everything is going to be more more difficult. So as you can see uh, here, here you have the the holes. I mean, you have very holes here or uh, cavities. So the way you have the cavities over there, and the same thing here on the on the ceiling, and everything is going to be more difficult for you to install anything. So if you want to put insulation, like I mentioned uh, before, it, um, it's going to be more challenging. You have to, these holes, uh, as you can see here, and you have to put, you know, inside, over here, or if you have to run cables from one end to another, you have to go through, you know, all these. Um, and if you, even if you have to put the AC, or if you want to install a fan or anything like that, you have the curvature and you have to put some kind of foam or you have to modify it in the other end. You will see that many uh, videos that they install here, they cut just here the hole to install the fan. They have to put the foam, you know, they have to cut it here. Uh, so that way you're not going to have any 
water or anything like that. With the other one, with the Stephen, I'm going to show you in a little bit. I mean, everything is straight, straight lines, you know, walls are straight, the ceiling is straight, so everything is going to be way easier to put drywall, <laughs> no, to put the, um, the insulation, if you want to put plywood, uh, drywall, anything, drywall not, but you know, plywood or anything like that, like that, here is going to be, everything is going to be more challenging. O other, other, other thing, let's say if you are in winter time or you're in a place where you have very go cold weather, you know, if you put like, let's say two inches of insulation here on the, on the roof and then put another two insulation here on the, on the floor and on the walls. So you're going to lose, you know, a lot of a space also if you want to sleep you know like sideways uh, like that i mean if you're short you're going to be good if you're maybe long like six foot or maybe uh, five and seven or something like that uh it's going to be in a struggle i mean there are some people that they put some kind of a cavity here they cut it and they make make it a little bit wider so that way they can sleep here you know sideways and they do the same thing here so the way it will be a little bit wider with a step in you don't have any issue you can sleep uh, the way you want it because it's very very wide it's wider than than this and another thing that you have to keep in mind is uh, here uh, i mean you're going to need some a kind a, some some type of division here so as you can see here the division is already there but you, you know, some door or something like that. So that way you can go and drive if you have, if you're in a dangerous situation or anything like that. Otherwise you have to go out, get in again. And you don't want any of that with the step van. You just go and it's all connected. It's one, one thing. Also here on the side, you're going to lose some uh, space because you cannot put anything here. I mean, if you want to use it, you know, to step in and to step out. Uh, because you have this a uh, huge door with the step in is all there is no door so here it's only in the back so if you if you if you want to do that uh, at least in my case what i would do is i would keep it close i mean if you want to use a vehicle like that and then i would go through the driver's side or passenger side and may, maybe you can make a small door here and you can separate it because if you don't separate it um in winter time, summertime is going to be more more painful. So you're going to have a lot of heat, cold on this area. Uh, I know because I have, I have done it before with another vehicle. And if you don't close that up, you're going to spend a lot of cash on on diesel. If you have a diesel heater, because you know uh, all the heat is going to go out, um, you're going to waste it. So as you can see here. I'm going to show you here we have the, the other side so we don't have any door or anything like that but if you put the door that would be great otherwise as you can see here is all glass it's just single side glass uh, you know you're going to have all the cold getting inside or all the heat going outside very very quickly and you will like I said before you're going to spend a lot of cash in order to keep this uh, you know cold or warm or something like that is the worst uh, case is just if you live in a cold weather otherwise no big deal you can leave everything open no it will not be a, a big deal at least for for that the, the other thing that you have here for instance as you can see you have the um, power windows so um, you have a lot of comfort here uh, the seats are great uh, and usually depending on the model it might be like a electric you may have electric seats you know you have yeah, no insulation but you have you have a, some kind of material you know to absorb all the the noise and a little bit maybe the temperature some type of insulation with the other one you don't have any of that you have to do all yourself and you have a you know a lot of comfort this is like almost driving a a car here so it's it's much much uh, better um you're going to have all the comfort you don't have the engine inside of the cabin as you can see here and the engine is outside um it has pros and cons i mean the, the bad thing about this uh, is i mean uh, all everything is way crowded it's like a car uh, and if you have to fix something this is going to be a little bit more complicated with the other one i'm going to show you now uh, everything is way open and you can work on this uh, very 
very easily. So now let's, uh, I'll show you this one. So the way you see, for instance, if you want to work on the engine, you pull this to uh, down and then you pull this up and it's way up, open. As you can see, you have plenty of space. I mean, the Sprinter, you have no space. It's like a car, you know, you have a minivan, whatever. Everything is very crowded. Here, you have access to the whole engine. You can do almost anything. See, if you want to replace the light bulbs, you know, you have the cables here. Just, you know, <laughs> pull this up and you're, you're ready to go. So the same thing here, you know, you have access to all the lights and everything. You want to replace the the oil, the diesel filter, the fuel filter is here. If you want to uh, do anything uh, like, let's say, uh, the brakes or the um, transmission or almost anything, everything is, is just here. I mean, it's, you have like way, uh, I mean, it's way easier to do any maintenance uh, here. Also, for instance, this is diesel. It has an, an outlet here, an ele electric outlet, and you can put the, um, just your extension cord here and it will heat up the, the engine and that's it. So in this case, I'm going to do some improvement later. I'm going to add the, um, battery maintenance so the way let's say if it's winter the batteries they're not good or whatever you know they, they're going to receive power and the, the engine is going to get uh, warm so um, everything is easy for instance here you have the batteries as you can see there you have the batteries over there all right so um, here we have the engine here we have the cover i removed the the cover uh, there you have the, the cover as you can see there and um, you have access to everything so here I'm doing some improvements I'm putting this uh, I think they are called like dinner there is like some kind of insulation for the sound to make it uh, you know less noisy and as you can see here we have access to everything here for instance uh, if you want to, I just replace the the switch because the this switch they, they doesn't come it doesn't come with the with the light as you can see. I put the, I replace them. All you have to do, I took the the screws ready, but then you know, yeah, you, you, then you have access to to everything here. So very 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 easy. So um, also I put uh, this for the USB. So I can charge my, my phone. And if you want to do any maintenance here, everything is very easy. The, the bad thing, I'm going to try to put the electric um, electric system for the window, so like to have power windows. Otherwise I have a, a handle here. I just took this out. So the way I'm going to be working on that, as you can see. And uh, here I, I, bought, I bought this. Let's see if I can, you know, make it work with this. I can adapt it, that would be great. Um, the seat, the seat is not very comfortable, uh, but um, I mean, it's very, very basic, as you can see here. And it comes with the separation that you see here. So if you want to close, open it, do whatever you want. And then here you have a huge place. So as you can see here, it's all the square. So if you want to run cable from one end to another, you can do it very easily. He has, he has some channel or something like that to do that. Otherwise, you can do maybe your own channel or anything like that. Everything is square. So if you want to put furniture or plywood or anything like that, it's great. If I want to touch the ceiling, as you can see, even if I uh, stay on my tiptoes, I cannot even touch the, the ceiling. So it's very hard. So I can put like easily two inches of insulation, wall, ceiling, floor, and that will be uh, good. And uh, all the cables, as you can see, if you have to do any repair here, everything is accessible here, there. Here we have the back door and everything is very easy. So if you have to put like solar panels, there is, there is no curvature uh, as far as, as, as I can tell. Um, er everything is, is very easy to maintain. And, you know, you have some trade-off uh, here. Maybe it's not very comfortable, but at least everything is easy to to repair or to do anything. In the in the other case, in the other place, um, 
with a with a sprinter band like you see over there everything is more more difficult uh it might be m maybe more economical for the for tires or maybe for the maintenance in general because you know this is almost like a, a regular car but other than that um, that would be the the biggest differences that you're going to have here also um, if you like i say if you are in a tiny play, a space uh, to park on the city or whatever you want to park you know it's going to be a little bit more difficult otherwise if you if you don't care about any of that or if you have a walmart Kroger's, or any you know a big stores that they have a lot of space to to park you can park this anywhere no it will not be a big deal so consumption this is a for instance is a 5.9 a liter diesel and i'm getting according to the computer like 10 15 miles a gallon the other the sprinter is maybe 15 20 um, I mean, the difference is a little bit more, but you know, it's way more, it's, it's smaller. So these, you have, you know, like these big tires, they are great. And this is the, the things that you have is more, everything is more like industrial, you know, you don't have electric window uh, mirrors here or anything like that. This, everything is more robust. Um, this is like a refrigerator on, on wheels, but you know, uh, is is way more comfortable you're going to have more space here than if you are the in the sprinter so to me uh, final words uh, to me it would be i think it's worth it even if you are in a small city um maybe you can get something shorter so in this case i bought the longest one that i was able to to get this is the freightliner m m m this is the freightliner mt45 e1200 so this is the longest one that you can uh, get and if you are like me like fixing com maybe you know uh, doing handyman work electric plumbing and everything you're going to have a lot of space to put all the, the tools and to live uh, comfortable and with the other one with the sprinter i mean if you are, are a trader you know stocks bonds <laughs> uh, all the things if you are just a trader the the sprinter might be good but other than that if you need a lot of space because you know i also I do welding and I do a few other stuff and then I need more space you know to put all my tools and everything I think this is the the best bet if you don't need a much because I don't know maybe you do some another work maybe security and you don't need you know to put tools or anything like that even if that is the case I would choose still this you can choose maybe something shorter and, and you will be good and um, because like i said it, all of them are kind of the same height the same width but uh, if, if you want something shorter you can get it and uh, you're going to be i think is you're going to be happier with something like that than the sprinter itself so hopefully this video was useful if you have any question i am in us if you need parts tools maybe car you need to ship it to you just let me know and see you next time